Hello everyone, back to you to today's first video of Jimmy ECM Jeff 38. Looking okay, for today's uh, first video. So we're going to be looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies the next four weeks, taking us into the second half of May, uh, of course, um, for the UK and for Europe as well. So uh, we can't show mean sea pressure or 500 millibar heights with this, unfortunately. But you can get a rough idea of what model is forecasting from its temperature and precipitation anomalies in terms of the overall uh, pattern. So we'll do that for you uh, first of all, and then we'll be back later on with your week 10 day uh, video update for you all regular features. Tonight, we're going to have a look at uh, the uh, coming bank holiday on Friday the 8th of May. We've got a bank holiday lined up, sort of um, early uh, early spring bank holiday, and also uh, for VE Day 75th anniversary. There's going to be lots of celebrations and commemorations of that, but they've all been cancelled due to coronavirus. But we've still got the bank holiday itself on Friday the 8th of May. Uh, right, so let's get on with today's first video. Then. I'm going to begin with the ECMWF uh, temperature anomaly. For the period, it's week 18 for the year. It's week one for our forecast period. It's for the period of the 27th of April to the 3rd of May. This comes from the Hungarian Met Office, by the way, so be thank them for uh, supplying the charts. So northern and northeastern parts of Europe are colder than average, essentially from Scandinavia over towards northwestern parts of Russia. We have below average temperatures here, with anomalies going down to around 3 to 6 degrees uh, below average. Northern Scotland to Ireland, average to a little bit below average there. England and Wales, no better than about average, really. But going further south, uh, through much of uh, France down into the Mediterranean, Spain, Portugal, largely above average there by around 1 to 3 degrees. So in the southwest of Europe, it is uh, quite warm this week. From around Italy eastwards over towards the eastern side of the Mediterranean, there we see temperature anomalies a little bit cooler. Also around the Balkans as well, uh, a little bit cooler. And then going up to this eastern side of Europe. Fending a bit on the cool side, although northern parts of Ukraine do look quite warm. The Black Sea, uh, generally quite warm there into the north and northeast, a little bit cooler down. To the south. Overall, it looks as though the north to northeast is quite cool this week, but west, and particularly the southwest of Europe, uh, quite a lot warmer. Precipitation anomalies look like that. So, uh, driving average to the north is indicative of a bit of non blocking, I think. Iceland coming out uh, drier than average, as does many parts of Scandinavia, particularly central and uh, northern parts of Norway and Sweden. Much of the Mediterranean also looks rather dry uh, through there. So, not a bad week actually for Spain and uh, for uh, western parts of the Med. France looks very wet, although it is warmer than average, it does look quite wet, probably some big showers and thunderstorms, that rain getting in towards southern parts of England and Wales at times as well, and generally just quite an unsettled swathe really from France over towards uh, Black Sea and western parts of Russia through this area here, just generally looks rather low pressure dominated with high pressure up here within uh, within the Norwegian Sea, for example, and probably a bit of ridging down towards the Mediterranean uh, as well, southeastern parts of the Med, a little bit more showery uh, there. Right, moving on to uh, week two, takes us to week 19 uh, for the year. This is how things are looking then. It's from the uh, 4th through to the 10th of May. A warmer week coming up through many parts of Europe, actually. So, got southern parts of uh, France down towards Italy and towards some parts of Mediterranean, where we go to 3 to 6 degrees above average. That's significantly hotter than average. Really quite a hot week. Probably you would describe that as a heat wave, actually. Uh, this time of year across southern parts of Europe. More widely across many parts of Europe, even into uh, England and Wales, we see temperatures, <coughs> excuse me, we see temperatures of around 1 to 3 degrees above average. But going further north into Scandinavia, there we've got temperature anomalies very close to average, as we do for Scotland and also for Ireland as well. Turkey looks colder than average, but that's the only area that's cold than average. Also, Portugal is near north, but the only area cold than average really is Turkey. Otherwise, Many parts of Europe have a warm week this week with temperature anomalies between 1 
and six degrees above average precipitation wise for week two. Uh, it does look rather unsettled out to the northwest. So uh, we've got uh, much of Ireland, UK, northern parts of France, low countries, northern Germany, Denmark, to southern Norway and Sweden with above average rainfall uh, through these areas. Conversely, though, much of southern Europe looks dry, uh, dry than average through uh, the central bowl of Mediterranean and through to Italy as well. I mean, over the Adriatic into the Balkans and down towards the southeastern corner, including parts of Greece, we do see uh, precipitation anomalies there, again, on the driving average side. Although the extreme east of Europe, from the Black Sea down to Turkey and then going up to uh, southwestern parts of Russia there, it does look wetter. Than average, so it's very from area to area, but I think overall it does look as very much of uh, northwestern Europe could be quite unsettled. Low pressure coming through here, probably some sort of uh, ridge there driving the jet stream uh, southwards, it's a bit like that with the jet. But high pressure centered through much of the Mediterranean. A pretty nice couple of weeks coming up for uh, many parts of the Met. Week 3 is uh, going to be the 11th to the 17th of May. It's week 20 for the year. And we're going colder than average on the western side of Europe now. Uh, so uh, much of uh, UK, Ireland, Scandinavia, down into uh, Spain and also France as well. Coming out with below average temperatures, 1 to 3 degrees below average. Then we get a swathe of uh, near normal temperatures or no signal here. From France going up towards the uh, Western uh, European, Western Russia, European border, uh, and then many southern and uh, southeastern parts of Europe through here, kind of like the Central Med over towards the east part of Med, I mean north was particularly through the Balkans to the Black Sea, uh, much hotter than average there. The temperature anomalies again around uh, three to six degrees above average at the highest. So the southeast of Europe becoming hotter, the northwest of Europe uh, becoming cooler there into the middle part of the month. Still quite unsettled as well for many northern and western parts of Europe with uh, precipitation anomalies above average from Spain and Portugal up to Scandinavia. So it looks like we have a swathe of low pressure coming through here. Quite a cool wet week. The southeast of Europe, where it's hottest, is also driest, interestingly, from the uh, 7th of the 11th to the 17th of May. So clearly, we must have quite a bit of high pressure through here, drawing up uh, hot winds from uh, North Africa. But at the same time, we must have a trough of low pressure coming through here and a dip in the jet stream uh, with something a bit like that going on in terms of the jet. So the northwest of Europe cooler and wetter, the southeast of Europe warmer and drier. And then finally we move through to week four, it's week 21 uh, for the year. And uh, and this week, taking us from the 18th to 24th of May, this week going warmer again across many parts of Europe. Northern Scandinavia uh, sees the cold average temperature being pushed up there. Otherwise, quite widely across Europe and uh, it's kind of like from uh, the UK, France and Spain in the west over towards the Black Sea uh, and uh, southwest Russia in the east, and all areas in between, uh, overall a little bit above average. So it's either average to slightly above average in the northwest, and quite significantly uh, above average still for many southeastern parts of Europe, where we have temperature anomalies of around um, 1 to 3 degrees above average. That does look like a warmer week there as we go into the third week of May. Precipitation-wise, signals weakening very quickly now, as they always do in week four. Well, this southeast corner again from Italy towards Greece looks like it's dominated by high pressure and still keeping those hot winds coming up from the south. So it's driving average there. But otherwise, most other parts of Europe have uh, average precipitation or probably as it's week four. Um, no signal. So quite a changeable sort of May to come. A lot of intra-week variation going on. The overall signal, I think, seems to be rather an unsettled month in the northwest, including the UK and Ireland. Rather an unsettled month. Temperatures a bit up and down, but often a bit on the cool side. Often quite unsettled too in the northwest. The south southeast of Europe looks like that's where the uh, strongest signal is to be hotter and drier through those areas and that does encompass a chance of a heat wave through parts of Mediterranean into Southeast Europe at times um, 
through this uh, month. So yes, it's the south and southeast that get the hottest weather, the north and northwest that get the coolest and wettest weather, um, but not continuously cool. Temperatures in the northwest are a bit up and down. So some weeks are quite cool, other weeks are relatively warm, but always a little bit on the changeable side, I think, in the northwest of Europe. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing. So it could all look very different uh, next week. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings. We're going to be back later on with your week 10 day. We have data including all the regular features. And then tonight, we're going to have another look at the um, Macron Friday on the 8th of May. Right, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.